Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and it's pain time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. We have disabled both of the shield generators, so now we can enter the Brio Leviathan Seed, where a very difficult and very annoying boss awaits us. It is so annoying that I have dragged my favorite and your favorite co-commentator back from the AWOL. Wait a second, you told me this was Super Mario Galaxy 2! Nah, I didn't need co-commentators for Super Mario Galaxy 2. True, unless they have another Thardis fight in there. Nope. Oh, well, actually, well, actually, there is. Um, just I didn't fail at it this time. Yeah. Oh, well. In any case, this is the Brio Leviathan Seed. All of the Leviathan Seeds that you'll enter will look almost the same. Now, there is a friend voucher that you can get... By immediately walking right back in your ship and saving. Well, of course. Well, well, of course. That's not how you get the friend voucher, though. Uh, one thing you may notice when you are walking across the seed to jump to the platforms is that there are a bunch of little bugs on the... on the floor of the Brio seed. And every Leviathan seed. If you take the time to kill every single one of those things, you will get the Exterminator Friend Voucher. It takes a very long time to kill all of them, though, because there are over a hundred of them down there. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. You don't even need oh. to get all the Friend Vouchers. By the way, uh, I'm gonna say for the record, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just... So, I'm just staring at the thing, what is saying, oh, okay, I'm just supposed to listen to right I'm probably gonna be a bit quieter than I usually am. That's not... That's not a problem, though. I had to get him out here at some point, right? And you guys love him that much. Um, yeah, apparently. By the way, this game's really good. You should get it. Oh, well, like I said, I am, like when I first played Prime One, I just kind of like, played that one, and then it's like I heard Prime Two. It's like uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You will love the controls, seriously. And then honestly, I never heard anything about Prime Three until I started seeing videos. And it did, so I'm like, wait, what? It's the third one? Yeah, the controls are awesome. Oh yeah, this guy. Remember all these golems that we had seen throughout Brio? Guess what? We have to fight one. I don't want to fight this guy. Can I go home? Yes. But uh, that won't solve the issue. And then you won't get paid. Right, I do have to get paid. And you know, Samus is all about the bling bling. Yup. I mean, just look at that ship, it seems to change every single game. You do get a big arena to fight this guy uh, against, and you're gonna need it. Sam's like, oh, fuck, that thing, don't tell me I have to fight that thing. See those four orbs that Moganar is grabbing? You're gonna hate those! Oh, that boss you told me I was, uh, being brought along to fight? I mean, uh, watch? Yeah, this is Boganar. He, he doesn't look like much, but he's... One of the hardest bosses in the game relative to your current, uh... To your current suit upgrades. And the first thing you do is actually scan the gun. You're actually scanning. Yeah, see those orbs that are... Uh, the three orbs that are uh, that are on his body, you need to shoot those. Yeah. Now, if you're fighting this guy on normal or veteran mode, you'll want to use a different strategy that's a lot faster. And I remember, more... your, your strategy your strategy is to stall everything out. It's more energy efficient uh, to do it to do it that way on normal and veteran, but on hyper mode, everything is different. Yeah. On hyper mode difficulty, his vulnerable points stay open for less time, he has new attacks, his aim is better, and these shockwaves do a lot of damage. If you get hit by one of his shockwaves, it does 45 damage. Yeah. Those little, ha those little hands that he shoots out, you'll want to back away from those and shoot them because they're one of your few sources of health in this fight. 
Yeah, it looks like you're trying to do that thing Scorpion does. Get over here! Ow! Ow. And this laser attack, he will only use this attack in hyper mode and it hurts. Okay, when he sh when you shoot one of his orbs out, immediately go into hyper mode and start shooting it out. Because if you take too long, if you take too long, he'll grab a new orb from the side of the arena and he'll uh, put it in where the old one was, undoing all of your hard work. When you eliminate one of his orbs, he will uh, get a phase on shielding on his legs. And it is very difficult to approach him close enough to be able to bomb his legs without uh, taking damage yourself. So the best way to avoid taking damage here is to just go into hyper mode. Go in and out of hyper mode so you don't corrupt. Because if you corrupt while he's, uh, while he's running around like this, that's a whole energy tank gone. Because you have to dis- Because obviously, the Zenith hasn't seen the videos beyond episode 4, so- I was in the middle of watching episode 4 when he asked me to start doing this, so yeah. Yeah, and we haven't got- And obviously we didn't get into hyper mode until episode 6 or so. But for his education, the way hyper mode works- I think you told me once back in Prime 2, is each time you enter hyper mode, it eats up an entire energy tank worth of energy. Yeah, but it, if you haven't corrupted yet, then uh, you can get that energy back. But if you stay in hyper mode more than five seconds, you'll corrupt and you won't be able to exit hyper mode unless you, uh, unless you vent all the energy yourself. And if you let the gauge fill up all the way and, you know, ignore it for too long, you'll just straight up die. Yeah, game over. I do want to show off that game over at some point, but I want to see if it comes naturally in the LP because it, there are enemies that can put you into instant corruption. Yeah, I was about to say, I remember, I think it was either you or a friend of mine was telling me about this, these enemies you had in kind of that sort of phase on grenades. Yeah, I think I, I think I was talking about phase on grenades at some point in Metroid Prime 2. Uh, a lot of pirates can throw them. Yeah. I almost brought a friend of mine in here who knows a shit ton about, uh, about, uh, the Prime series in general. I probably would have been able to give good commentary on this just even without even something to watch the video. But as you can see from each in hyper mode, those when one when you blow out one of his segments, it takes almost the whole phase on tank to be able to to be able to blow it up because and because you can only have five energy tanks at this point in the game, you basically have 200 energy to play around with. And if you miss on a phase on tank, that's one less energy tank you have. Well, it looks like you're able to exit hyper mode and re-enter it, like, right before you run out. Or am I just imagining? Not that? when I'm corrupted. Oh, yeah. If he starts to grab new orbs from the side, uh, the only way that you're going to be able to... to be able to prevent him from reloading is if, if you're already in corrupt hyper mode because it's not worth spending an energy tank on specifically to prevent him from doing that, and it is impossible to shoot the two orbs enough on hyper mode. On normal and veteran, it's easily possible to shoot them out and prevent him from regenerating. This is what makes the fight so annoying, especially in hyper mode. Yeah. So if you're below 100 energy, you basically have to dodge his attacks until he spits out an attack that drops energy. And at that point, it's almost better to just restart the fight. Judging by how low your energy is, is that's a possibility of happening. Hey, at least you've learned, at least this game basically makes it dirt easy to know how to train. Yeah, you will, if, that's one of the reasons why I suggested when it came out that you get Metroid Prime Trilogy, because it is just amazing playing Metroid Prime 1 and 2 with the Wii, uh, the Wii controls. And I believe I said this earlier in the Let's Play, but I do plan on making a few videos of Trilogy. Yeah, you said that in the first video. It's the reason why you used the original 3 instead of uh, the Trilogy version. Yeah, there are differences. Not very many. Most of them just graphical, but there are differences. You guys seem to have a fun sense of humor of laughing at you every now and then. Yeah, he does that. And that's actually the part where he's most vulnerable, ironically. Irony, isn't it? 
that's one thing that you will notice quickly about Metroid Prime 3 when fighting even just regular enemies is... You know how in 1 and 2 there really isn't that much difference between normal and hard other than damage? Yeah. Well, in 3, the enemies have different AI scripts for hyper mode. They have new attacks. It's like they actually put an effort into hyper mode. Instead of just saying, okay, everything does, uh, let's just say, 1.1 more damage. And it has about that much more damage. Yeah, that's perfect for hard mode. Like, I don't even play Metroid Prime 1 on normal anymore because... Because hard is just that easy for me now, except for fighting, like, Omega Pirate. Yeah. Omega Pirate's the one thing in in hard that I still, uh, struggle with. You know, I almost wonder if, uh, what's his name in this game, uh, Ridley? Ah, uh, yes. I just have really come there. Hiya, Samus! How you doing today? Okay, got the second one. Something tells me you're not even gonna know where that reference is. I'm gonna probably a couple of your viewers might. Most likely. Yeah. One thing you do have to be careful about, <coughs> excuse me, when taking out his legs, besides going into uh, corrupt hyper mode, is to uh, make is to make sure that you're that you don't actually get hit when you're going into hyper mode. Especially when you have this low energy. Because when he's running, or, or when he has his uh, base on shields on his legs, he will only run around, meaning it is impossible to get energy. Yeah. So wait, does that mean that if you don't uh, break his legs before you run at, run too low on energy, you can actually be unable to kill him? No, no. You can you can you don't have to be in hyper mode to uh, to uh, to drop the bombs on his legs. Oh, it's just it's a good idea because you won't take much damage. You actually won't take any damage because because before you corrupt, um, as long as you're in hyper mode, you're I'm actually going to demonstrate it here. As long as you're in hyper mode, before you corrupt, you're actually invincible. Yeah, that was the worst time to get hit. Good I, job. I also like to go into hyper mode for. Uh, for that attack hey, he's raining bolt. You know that ear is low sound? Get used to it, folks. I think you said that in episode 3. Oh hey, there's one on his back. Oh yeah, you'll learn to hate that one. I'm guessing that's the last one you have to destroy. Um, you can just you can get to it after you destroy number three, or, or number two rather. Once you have two of them destroyed, he'll start exposing his back more, and he'll start using this attack. That attack is the best way to get energy. However, he almost killed you by grabbing you. And instead, you didn't jump. Yep. So, how many more failures are there going to be? I don't know, you promised me, uh, Shfitty. Everyone's kill count is like 55. Well, let's try this again. This is actually the reason why I saved at the ship here, because if you don't save at your ship here, the game will actually boot you to wherever your ship was before you went here, and it's very annoying to sit through that loading screen. Even though it's not very long, it's still, like... It makes it more tedious fighting this guy, and it's, yeah. fighting this guy, if you can't tell, is already tedious enough. Yeah. Because his, his attacks aren't really that hard to dodge. There's maybe, like, one attack of his that's tough to dodge. And I think I just saw when he did, like, they looks like those four things out of his back to shoot at you. That can be tough to dodge, but all those particles can be shot, and if you shoot them all, you get a lot of health. Uh... Oh, it looks like something like that would be like a normal uh, and everyday uh, thing for someone playing Toho. You know the stupid thing is, I think there's a, I think there's a 3D Toho. Uh, I know there's some Toho that was making fun of Super Robot Wars. Called uh, fan I think it's called Fancy Made. 
I have been bored, so I've been playing that a lot recently. Very fun, actually. I really haven't had too much time to play other games when I'm not recording between, you know, work and editing and recording and spending time with family and, you know, being... Yeah, cool. that's, so a good, that's a good time this season to be uh, trying to go game heavy. I mean, pretty much most of the gaming time I get anymore is just for my Let's Plays, and I kind of have financial reasons to do that now. Yeah. Oh, so that's kind of why I stopped building in general, because, well, I I do in general, I wasn't doing that great of a job, and I need to kind of fix a major issue that I've complained about a lot, but God forbid anyone listens to when I actually say it. What was that, just a recording setup? Yeah, generally, yeah. Another very important thing is when you're in corrupt hyper mode, damage will actually increase your phase on gauge. So you can actually take damage to get more phase on. Well, that seems like actually a good thing. You just have to be careful how much damage you take. Because eventually it makes it like, so, uh, like so the corruption increase actually like start becoming more and more to the point where you know you actually will have to get out or get killed. Okay, if it. Okay, this is one of those instances I said where I'm just gonna, you know, stop, because... Yeah. Yeah. Like I was... Because I've lost too much health. You just looked at him and said, You know what, I'm not even gonna give you the pleasure of killing me. I think that's the first actual rage quit I've had in Prime... In like... Let's rage quit at Prime! Oh god, we're back! Yeah. Now, hopefully I'll get him this time. Two failures is enough for this guy, right? Um... Right, yeah, right. I mean, I would know, I mean, having not watched the video, and knowing nothing about Prime 3. Seriously, though, just go get this game. It's not expensive anymore. Well, I have other games I've been playing recently. You don't even have to play it on hyper mode. Just go play it on, like, veteran or something. Oh right, you wanted to kill me the last time I made you go get a prime game. No, no, I wanted to kill the person that, uh, that suggested that I could wait and do this. That was, and actually, I don't think it was you. If it was you, I wouldn't remember it, but, uh, I don't think it was. Was it Ryu Sentinel? By the way, those of you who have been asking where Ryu Sentinel's gone, he's disappeared off the face of the planet, basically, because I have not seen him in years. So, he went over to, uh, New York. Oh, you actually know him? Oh, yeah, God, no, wait, 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 he's British. He's British, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um... I remember there was an equivalent over in, in Great Britain, but I don't remember the name of the same place. It's Great Britain, who cares? Who <laughs> cares? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate that I corrupted just as I was finishing that off because then I don't get the rest of that energy back and I would have been almost full. So how many so how many viewers did I just alienate? I don't know, should I join you in that saying probably none? <laughs> <laughs> alienate? Everybody knows the most ignorant viewer around, ironically, is the American. Not surprising. Not surprising, at least. Because Americans always say that it's the rest of the world that's the problem. Yeah. The funny thing is, they came from the rest of the world. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. We're... We're horrible people. We're on the internet. We don't have to pay. Therefore, we're, we're it's okay for us to be horrible. Um, I wouldn't say that. I think I've shown my face on my channel a few times. I know you. Hey, I did say I did say I'd save the last LP for best, right? Or the best LP for last. Sorry. True. Yay, derpage! I'm almost tempted to start making some jokes right as Sentinel made back when you fought started. Tilt, tilt. <laughs> It is 
It is more appropriate because I'm actually using the Morph Ball a lot more this time. Yeah. But really, the secret to even fighting regular enemies on Hyper Mode difficulty is just managing Hyper Mode. A lot of people think that uh, the way Hyper Mode was implemented could have done a could have been done a lot better because Hyper Mode does kind of break the game a little bit. Yeah, I'm also kind of wondering why it seems like you're like saving your missiles. Uh, missiles don't do anything to this guy. Oh. So no, no missiles to the app for weak point uh, massive damage. Oh, also another reason why missiles, another reason why you don't want to use missiles on this guy is because you're actually locking on to the center of him, and that's if you fire a missile, that's where it will go. Uh. Oh yeah, if you guys are, if uh, you guys are having a lot of trouble with this guy, go in the options and make sure you have free aim turned on. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Normally when I play Prime 1 and Prime 2, I play with free aim off because because the bosses are designed to be fought with, you know, that kind of a lock. Ugh, yuck. I wish you got him down to, uh, down to half health again. Yeah, with a lot more health this time. I would say that, that those two orbs were pretty clean. Yeah. I mean, given how much damage his attacks do, I mean, his Shockwave does 45, he's got a handful of attacks to do 30. I thought his Shockwave did 55. 45. Which round? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 99 to 54. Sure. Uh, we're actually not going to have a boss this frustrating until almost the end of the game. Hiya, Samus! Where have you been all this time? What is Ridley? Also ahead of time, I apologize, Diabetes. Don't kill me. Oh, did you watch, did you watch uh, Diabetes play this game? No, no, no. That, uh, that, actually, that was from watching Diabetes do a race for um, uh, Super Metroid. And basically, Diabetes has this really funny voice to use for Ridley, and that is the, that's very close to what the voice sounds like. Um, as far as dodging his attack that rains boulders on the ground, two hyper mode activations should get you through it. You just need to. You just need to count like 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, up to 5 seconds. And that should give you a good idea of getting out of it right before you corrupt. To give you an idea of how much they buff the enemies for hyper mode, you know those shriek bats? Yeah. They take two hits to kill with power beam. Two power beam shots. Wait, two regular power beam or two charge? Regular. Okay, because I'm about to say, if it's charge, what the hell? But yeah, that's the only time when he charges at you is basically the only time you're able to get to the orb on the back, and that's definitely the hardest one to get to. You may have yeah. also noticed that if left alone, these orbs regenerate. Like, they, sl they slowly regenerate. That seems to be the running theme in uh, Prime 3, things regenerate. You know, you should really get that that crotch fire looked at. <laughs> Where did the go? Where did the go? Oh, oh, there she goes. Uh, uh, what do I got to do next? Uh, gonna walk very slowly, man. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea, Bogginar. Punch the ground! Yeah, that attack isn't really fair. Because you have no way to dodge it without going into hyper mode. I don't know, you can probably, by the looks of it, you can probably go more fall and uh, roll around with a bit more vision of what the hell's gonna be landing. You can't you. see that far above you, though. 
Yeah, but you get more vision than none. Ow! That's good to see. They, they actually gave Samus new screaming, uh, screams. Yeah, she has, I think, two or three new cries. I noticed one when she was in hyper mode, but I thought that was just a just hyper mode. Uh, Mogadar tilting his back when he looks around can also make it very annoying to hit him. Now this one, don't be afraid to use two phase on tanks to hit, because you probably are going to need it. I mean, this one, you just have to get this one. Oh no, I'm too late. Right? Perfect sense. That's not funny, Moganar. I wonder though, could you actually use your hyper mode to, to shoot his crystals before they, you know, go to get damaged? Or is it you have to first power beam them down, then hyper mode? You can use hyper mode, but you don't have the energy to spare, that's the thing. And, and you know, after after you have a certain amount of health, the health drops all become 10s and 25s. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're, guys, if you're playing this for yourself, after about three or four failed attempts, you're gonna want to put your controller down and try again a couple hours later, because this fight will make your thumb sore. I don't know, unless you took it, uh, took it slow. And, and stop trying to shoot him when his uh, shield is up. The reason why I'm shooting him when his shield is up is I'm an trying to anticipate when he'll put, when he'll make himself vulnerable again. It does make a difference. And I hate this too, because... Because when he exposes his... When he exposes his orbs while he's doing this, they're just sitting there regenerating and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I thought they were regenerating all the time, not just they're you know, they, when... I believe they only regenerate when they're open. Don't quote me on it, but I think they only regenerate when they're open. Whoever that quoted from Riker right Whoever that guy is, I don't know his name, you might want to ask him that. Or I do. This person you wanted to put in here. Oh, Coda? Yeah. I could probably ask him. Not right. But then again, but then again, his big knowledge is usually about lore and shit about uh, Metroid and not not really like, you know, tit little tidbit game gameplay knowledge. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, that won't be that helpful. I mean, as I put it, he basically, in, in, the, in one of these D&D groups, sorry to go off a huge tangent, but, you know, you can tell there's obviously important things going on right now. But, uh, he, he made, in the D&D group, he actually made a uh, character that was quite literally based off of Chozo, uh, off of Chozo lore. That's pretty awesome, I kind of want to see that. Yeah. We should have a conversation at some point, and maybe we can get him in here for one of the later boss fights. I don't know. Prob Maybe we're Probably not Helios. Because that fight is... Nuts. Yeah. Yeah, that fight's kind of random. I'm trying to think of things to say, but it's like, there's not much I can really think of to say other than... This guy looks like he has a giant crunch fire. My mind just cannot, you know, stop looking at it. 
I wonder if that was intentional. Okay. Third one off. Come on. Come on. Open up. Open wide. Just like you're at the dentist, Foganar. Open wide. Okay, now there's just the one on the back left. This one's the hardest one to get at. The, the Moganar's not happy, so he put his shoes on. You see? Because pumps make you jump, jump. That was very close. I'm really surprised I got out of that one without getting hit. Yeah. But now you see, even with all those health power-ups, just how much you have to conserve your energy. Excuse me. Uh, the energy is a lot less of an issue. It looks like in the trilogy, this would be a lot easier with that whole little, you know, swing the uh, the Wii stick to do a uh, to do a spring ball jump over the uh, shock wave. You get it in this version too. Oh. Oh, it's just it, it's available for Prime One and Two as well. As well. Yes. Yeah, but in order to use the spring ball in Prime One and Two, you need bombs. Which actually makes sense. Yeah. Since, you know, they kind of removed almost all the sequence breaks from 1 and 2 anyway. Yeah. I think there's uh. still a couple. Like, I think you can still get some base jump as your first item. Oh, yeah. speaking of sequence breaking, have you seen the crazy run that SDA has been working on for Metroid Prime? I've been watching, I've, wa I've watched a lot of different speedrun crazy things. I, let's put it, I watched, I, last night I watched the guy who beat Super Metroid with the bosses in reverse order. Remember, uh, remember, uh, the, t the 22% run from Metroid Prime? Yeah. Somebody got yeah, 21. 21. They skipped the uh, space jump. I can I don't know how you beat the game without space jump. I want to watch that. Yeah. Oh, then the one I, I watched was actually pretty interesting because, um, as I put it to good for general boss order, let's see. He skipped the bomb guardian, he skipped, he skipped uh, the, uh, the spore spawn by mock falling for early uh, super missiles, and his first ball fight was against Crocodile. Oh, speaking of spore spawn, did I, I don't know if I told you this, but in my latest Super Metroid playthrough, I actually did the spore spawn skip. Yeah. I, I know it's easy to do. I know it's yeah. easy to do, but like I actually mock balled. Yeah. Though the weird thing is, there was one point when he mock balled without mock balling. <laughs> oh boy. I would like lots of health, please. No, nope, you get a foot stomp. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, like, remember the Joe Ball sword he did was, uh, Krokemeyer, then Ridley, and Lee, and then the, uh, Ball of Aquarius. I can't even remember his name. Uh, Dragon? Dragon, uh, Dragon, then Fantoon, and then, um, uh, uh hey, Go, 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 go! No, I'm gonna turn my back to you! I, the only reason I fired that off was to avoid corruption. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like, I wonder what happens if, you know, if your meter space on meter is still full. Go away! Go die in any number of target fires, draw a card. Something tells me, tells me you are not happy. And something tells me that is not, you know, foreshadowing or anything like that. And now, we get to see Samus being human. Human? We can't have Samus human! I mean, heck, I think there's still people out there that refuse to admit she's a female. Well, you can clearly see that you can clearly see she's a woman, and that she was a sick woman there. Yeah. Yeah, she was actually vomiting Bazon. That's not a good thing. Well, 
the thing is, the thing is, her body is self-generating Bazon. That's not a good thing. <laughs> and by defeating Maganar, whenever you defeat a seed boss, you get a hyper mode power up. In this case, you get the hyper ball. This will let you, instead of laying bombs, this will let you do a, a hyper mode attack during morph ball mode. Ironically, this probably would have been kind of useful during this fight. Yes, it would have. I don't really care for the hyper mode attacks in this game. I mean, Hyperball is probably the most useful one. But yeah, I'll show it to you here. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I'm judging by the fact that you have a yellow ball, a yellow uh, meter, that means that, you know, you can corruption from it. Uh, no. No, you have, for, for that demonstration only, you have unlimited phase on. Basically, that's what it kind of means. But you can't corrupt. That's what I was basically saying. Okay. And now yeah. that and now that Mogonar's out of the way, the seed guardian is exposed, and I think Samus looks really awesome when she's in hyper mode like this. And again, super mega awesome cutscene powers. Fuck you, physics. And with that, we have destroyed the Brio Seed. <laughs> she just walks out of there. <laughs> As everyone knows, cool people don't stare at explosions. Just casually walking away. Well, now that the Brio Seed has been destroyed, the planet Brio should be saved from further corruption. And not only that, but we now know how to eliminate the seeds. Go inside them, find the giant fuck you monster inside of them, and kill it. Yep. Now I kind of want to be quiet for this next part. Brio Do I have to be? Now saved from further phase on corruption. Thank you, Samus. Your next objective will be Elysia. Though Gore is stationed there, the Leviathan's phase on contamination is still spread. We're thinking about firing him. The impact point is hidden deep within the storm clouds of this planet. You will not be able to reach its location. Instead, you may land near an automated research facility floating high above the surface, where GF Aurora Unit 217 is stationed. Some people call it Unit 217 has been infected by the corruption virus and is currently offline. I have uploaded a program to your suit that will purge any traces of corruption in the AU and restore its functionality. Once Unit 217 has been restored, it will help us find a way to destroy the Leviathan. We are concerned about Gore ever since he lost contact with us. We hope he is safe. Good luck, Samus. By the way, if you see Gore, tell him he's... We're gonna need that, and... That's about all the time we have for this episode, so I'm going to leave you guys with a status report from our ship. Notice that we fired over 3,000 bullets during that fight. I noticed your hyper mode uses suddenly went up by 52. 